soil forms the surface of the land and it can be considered the skin of the earth. Soil is linked to almost everything around us. It performs many important roles in sustaining life on earth. At the end of this module, you will be able to classify soil into three types. Differentiate the three types of soil. List the methods of maintaining soil fertility. We know that no two samples of soil are identical. The soil on Earth's surface can be broadly classified into three types. Sandy soil, clay soil and loam as seen here. Let's discuss the characteristics of each of these. Let's begin with the look test. Just by looking at the moist soil samples, you can learn to identify the type of soil. Sandy soil is loose and gritty or grainy. We get to see this on riverbeds and beaches. Loam is smooth and partially grainy. We get to see the soil usually in agricultural fields. Clay is very smooth and fine-grained. You must have seen this being used by a potter. Let's observe the particles in each sample through a zoom lens. We notice that as the porosity decreases, the air trapped in between the particles also decrease. Now, let's perform what's called as the rope test. We take a small ball of moist soil sample and squeeze it in our palm. We then rub the soil between our fingers. We observe that sandy soil does not form a ball and the grains fall apart when rubbed. Loam forms a ball but crumbles easily. It feels smoother and less gritty than sand. Clay forms a ball that does not crumble easily. It feels very smooth and sticky and can form a ribbon when pressed between fingers. The third test is the jam jar test. We take three clean and dry 500 ml jam jars with tight fitting lids and label each of them as shown. We paste a paper strip along the length of the bottles as shown. Using a scale, we mark 10 equal divisions on the strips. We then add into each bottle the three different soil samples to approximately the one third mark. We fill the bottles almost all the way up with water and give them a vigorous stirring with a long stick. We leave the jars aside for about 24 hours for the soil particles to settle down. We observe that there are different soil layers formed in each bottle. The bottommost layer is sand. The middle layer is silt. And the top layer is clay. Let's observe more closely the volume of each component in the three bottles. The percentage volume of each component is tabulated here. Loam has the ideal composition that is best suited for plant growth. Testing water retention capacity of soil is important and useful in deciding the type of crop that it can sustain. Here's a simple experiment for this. We drop equal volumes of sand, loam and clay into the funnels and label them. We add 100 ml of water into each funnel at the same time and leave the setup undisturbed for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we measure the volume of water collected in the three measuring cups. We observe that sandy soil 
has the least water retention capacity, while clay has the maximum. Loam, on the other hand, has just the right balance of water retention and is therefore the best choice for growing plants. From all these experiments, we can conclude that in terms of texture, porosity, water retention, as well as mineral and organic content, loam is the best soil for plant cultivation. Repeated cultivation over the years reduces soil fertility. Let us have a quick overview of the various processes involved in maintaining soil fertility.